Welcome to the Aerial Corotherm Installation Guide. Whether you are installing a veranda, canopy or carport, Corotherm Multiwall Polycarbonate Sheet is the ideal choice. This lightweight impact resistant glazing material is easy to handle, cut and install. For use in projects around the home and garden, Corotherm sheets are available in a range of thicknesses in light transmitting and solar controlling tints. Step 1. Preparation For the lean-to in this video, which is 5 meters by 3 meters, you'll need the following materials. Plan your project in advance. It's easier if you use the standard sheet size. And make sure you have the right tools for the job before starting. Begin the project by installing the flashing tape to provide a watertight seal between the wall and roof. Step 2. Glazing bar preparation. Glazing bars are installed on each of the rafters. Before installing the glazing bars, you'll first need to insert the seals either side of the bar base. The use of silicon lubricant can make the installation of seals easier. Install the seals and avoid stretching. You'll need to pre-drill the glazing bar in preparation for fixing to the rafters at approximately 400mm centers, staggered on alternate sides. Screws should be sealed in waterproof silicon sealant, wiping off any surplus after driving the screws. Use the F-profile upside down so that it forms an upstand which can be sealed to the wall with flashing tape. Step 3. Sheet Preparation If you need to size the polycarbonate sheets to suit the structure, Corotherm can be easily cut to size and will not crack or shatter. When cutting parallel to the flutes, a sharp knife can be used, but when cutting across the flutes, a fine tooth saw is required. For cutting curves, use a fine tooth jigsaw. Set the correctly sized sheet into position and mark a hole centrally at the lower end of the sheet for a fixing button. This fixing will prevent the sheet from moving once installed. Remove the sheet to the bench to drill where you have marked. Remember all Corotherm sheets must have an expansion allowance of 3mm around all fixings. Any swarf from cutting or drilling should be removed by vacuuming. Next, peel back the protective film from all edges of the Corotherm sheet on both sides and fix the sealing tape at the top end of each piece of Corotherm. And the perforated breather tape at the bottom, making sure tapes are not creased or torn. Step 4. Installation of the sheet. With the silver sealing tape at the top of the slope and the blue breather tape at the bottom, push the sheet into position between the glazing bars. Ensure that the printed film is facing upwards. At least one vertical rib of each Corotherm sheet should engage with the glazing bar at each side. Again, leaving 3mm expansion gap. Flashing tape forms a completely watertight seal at the top of the sheet. With the sheet now in the correct position, secure into place using the Corotherm fixing button in the pre-drilled hole. Starting at the downslope end, Line up the ends of the cap and base and tap home with a rubber mallet until the edge seals have flattened against the sheet. Overdriving the glazing bar cap may cause damage to sheets over time as they expand and contract with temperature changes. Continue laying sheets and glazing bar caps in this way. Step 5. Fitting the F-profile. Finish the edge of the roof with an F-profile, which can be secured to the rafter or barge board with screws. Fit the final glazing bar cap and complete the run of flashing. Step 6. Fitting end caps. To protect the breather tape, fit end caps or U-profiles to the end of the sheet. 
the U-profile should be cut into sections to fit between rafters. Run a bead of sealant along the top edge of the end cap to prevent water penetration. Fit U-profile into place with the drip detail leading into the gutter. Wipe off any excess sealant. Once the U-profiles are in place, fit the glazing bar end caps. Finally, remove all protective film. Corotherm comes with a 10-year warranty. For more information, visit our website or email us info at aerialplastics.com.